بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم مسٹر گورنر لطیف خان خوسا منسٹر فار انفارمیشن کمر زمان کیرا منسٹر فردوس شاہ شکوان مسٹر عرفان شیخ پریزیڈنٹ لاہور چیمبر آف کامرس اینڈ انڈسٹریز ایل سی سی آئی ایگزیکٹو کمیٹی ممبرز ممبرز آف دا بزنس کمیونٹی لیڈیز اینڈ جینٹل مین السلام علیکم I am very happy to be part of the LCCI Achievement Award Ceremony. I sincerely appreciate the opening remarks of the President of the Lahore Chamber of Commerce and Industries. I applaud the Lahore Chamber for regular holdings of Achievement Award Ceremonies for the last eight years. Such awards recognize the excellence performance of the entrepreneurs and motivate them to achieve even more. I congratulate you, Mr. Ifan Kaiser Sheikh, for this. I have often been meeting and speaking with the Chamber and the business community. I value your advice in finding solutions for economic problems. A serious problem for our development is the absence of continuity of economic policies. I have always emphasized the need for continuity of economic policies. I have called for the business community to take ownership of the policies, it is they who should defend the economic policies, even as governments change. I am happy to say that last week I gave assent to a bill that will do exactly the same. It will ensure continuity of incentives. Now no government will be able to withdraw the incentives without parliamentary debate and discussion. This is a landmark development. We have achieved political consensus on a number of issues. It is a time that we work for consensus of economic policies as well. Ladies and gentlemen, I am aware of the problem posed by the lack of energy. It is the mother of all economic problems. The problem also is rooted in the reversal of energy policy of the previous PPP government. If the energy policy of the PPP government had not been reversed in the mid-90s, perhaps that would have not been a power crisis today. We need to learn from the past. The energy crisis is a reminder to us all to recognize the importance of developing consensus on economic policies. Ladies and gentlemen, yet another problem is the lack of access to international markets. We want trade and not aid, but our access to market is very poor. As a result of our efforts, the EU has given Pakistan market access. We appreciate the EU for this. However, we are seeking a GSP plus status. We hope to achieve this and increase market access further. Ladies and gentlemen, we are making efforts to increase the electricity production in the country. We are also seeking to diversify source of power generation. Increased production of electricity must also be accompanied with the reduction in the price of the electricity. We have undertaken mega hydro projects like Washa Dam. We are seeking to import gas and electricity from other countries. This is how we plan to address the energy problems. Ladies and gentlemen, Militancy and terrorism has also impacted on the investment. For the past 10 years, we have been fighting extremism and militancy. In this fight, 44,000 nationals have been killed. This includes 6,000 military and police. It also has had a very adverse impact on economic development. Many social programs had to be halted. The global financial crisis also hit Pakistan just as we began the transition from a military dictatorship to democracy. However, the situation is improving. As a result, some hard decisions taken by the government. Tax collection has increased. Remittances from Pakistanis have increased. have increased. KESE 100 index now stands at 14,000. It stood at 6,000. In 2008, when the present government took over, six months ago, Pakistan granted most favored nation trading status to India. We have embarked upon a policy of trade liberalization. 
with India, with other countries in the region. It is a major shift in policy. This shift is driven by the business sectors on both sides of the border. It will benefit all. The government is promoting an investor-friendly environment. We offer most liberal investment policy regimes in the region. It includes full repatriation of capital gains, dividends, profits. We have signed business investment treaties with many nations for the first time in the history and democratically elected government will inshallah complete a full five year term next year. Ladies and gentlemen, we welcome foreign investment. We provide best possible environment for foreign investments. We want to make Pakistan a profitable place to do business. I would suggest to the businessmen to share their ideas with the government. The wisdom of public and private sector can help us achieve a better results. I have no doubt that with help of the private sector and economy will improve. I look forward to a booming economy with hope, determination and courage. Inshallah, we shall achieve it. Pakistan, when I came into contact with uh, all the business, senior businessmen sitting here, in 1988, we were 90 million population or plus. Today, we are a 200 million population. Can you imagine that in another 15 years, what our population will be? This supply and demand, what's the demand going to be? What is the supply going to be? I'm happy to um, share with you that most of the agriculture sector because of the incentivization, because of the rates that they are getting today, because of the tunnel farming that is formed. If you pick up all the multinationals' yearly books uh, the, the which they publish, you will find that most of their sales have been in the interior of country. So, for the first time, a sector is coming up and becoming co-buyer with the cities which have never had the capacity for being a consumer. And the more the consumer, the more the industries of your country will work better. It is in your interest, it is in the interest of the industrialists to make sure that new policies are not only implemented, followed, but followed through. For example, if you can talk, uh, in America, when this recession hit, in the world, in Europe, when this recession hit, there people came out and they are civilized, evolved nation. And they said that you are 1% and we are 99%, meaning by that the wealth is held in 1% of the population in the first world. So I cannot explain to you the imaginable concept of tomorrow if this population growth plus your exports. Today we stand at 25 billion. People keep telling me it's much better than before, but that is not good enough. Does it meet the need, even say for Lahore, even say for Faisalabad? What you need to uh, keep your cities clean, what you need to keep your sewerage uh, evolved, Lahore is short of water, Lahore is short of all sorts of uh, emergency uh, equipment. You are losing uh, ground to a lot of uh, other issues. The pollution in Lahore has been the worst in the all of Pakistan. But I don't have to be more concerned about it. You, the Lahoreites, have to take the responsibility. You have to take the ownership of your own cities, of your own areas. And how come model town can have electricity and water and everything and other areas do not. There has to be something wrong, obviously. So all I talk about is the fact that Pakistan's demand for tomorrow, Pakistan's my Bilawal's needs, my coming generation's needs should be thought about today. You and me, we have to decide the destiny. Life has no time. I did not blink an eye for giving power from the presidency to the parliament. Why? Because I don't believe. I believe in a holy book. Ek saans bhi jo hai, wo mere control mein nahi hai. So as soon as it was possible, I handed over all the powers to the parliament. 
کہ خدا نہ خواستہ ایسا نہ ہو کہ آئی می بی دیر بٹ بائی ہولڈنگ پارس اور ٹرائنگ ٹو میک شور دیٹ دی اکویشنز آر سیٹلڈ اینڈ سمس اینڈ آئی ہیو پولیٹیکلی پیڈ دا پرائس موسٹ آف دا ٹائم بٹ ڈز میک اے ڈفرینس وین آئی واز گوئنگ ٹو پریزن اینڈ وین آئی واز لرننگ پنجابی ہیئر ان لاہور آئی نیو آئی واز پلینگ اے پرائس بٹ آئی ہیڈ اے کاز سو ایون ٹو ڈے آئی ہیو اے کاز when you have a cause then you don't mind paying the price so if the uh, so called cases are reopened against me so be it if things other things are done to undermine me so be it but i have made sure that what was my duty what was my promise to mohtarma benazir bhutto and shahid zulfikar ali bhutto and the people of pakistan constitution of pakistan that i have done Inshallah soon I will be in Lahore much more and then I'll have many more gatherings with you and will be learning from you. Thank you. Pakistan, find the world.